Hello, hello, and welcome to another Albion E video. This one's gonna be short and sweet. This is mostly just gonna be me uh, going over like some of the complaints and stuff I've been seeing on my videos. Like, you know, Albion's a game that's constantly changing. The meta's always changing. You know, you, you'll make a video on like a corrupted dungeon build or something, or you'll do like a build out in the open world, and it's just like, you know, a patch happens and then all that shit is no longer relevant because your weapon gets nerfed to shit or other stuff gets buffed and so it just the whole meta changes all the time so it's like it's really hard to make a good meta video since everything's always changing and then it's like yeah, I don't know it's like look, one of the last comments I got was like I I'm busy like it showing off like what I do to get silver which is basically just opening a bunch of chests and this and getting lucky and you know getting a bunch of silver out of it for free no fighting and it's like I mean, that's what they were complaining about. It's like, I'm not showing the steps of how I do it. But it was, there was literally no one to fight. Like, I, I usually show all my fights that I do. If, if there is a, a good fight to show. And it, unless I'm just dying to, like, an 8-4 or something. Which, it really isn't interesting. But it's like... That literally, I, I just went through and looked at all the interesting parts that I recorded. Which was basically just opening the chest. And then there was one fight in there. And then, yeah, some people have the audacity to be like, Oh, this guy is just going around killing people who don't want to fight. Literally, everybody... In that video, it was just going after me, you know, just, just charging at me while I'm trying to kill mobs or something. Like even like the I forget what the shapeshifter weapon it was, but there was a shapeshifter guy that like literally dismounted on top of me with the yellow exclamation mark, which I didn't show it before, but I actually fought that guy before and I was losing. I had to like disengage to you know, reset, and I was just like, yeah, there's no way I could fight that guy. But then he just dismounts on top of me, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll take the fight, and I actually won it that second time around because he only fought like, he only started that because he was super confident but i made him pay for it yeah dearly and i don't know it's just i i know i shouldn't worry too much about it like what people say in the comments it's just like you know some, not everyone can be uh, smart and intelligent and uh you know understand like what's going on now beyond and you know not everyone's got that decent morality and all that shit so yeah i'll just gonna let let it go you know Maybe I'll, I'll I'll take a little bit like uh like a little bit of it with me though like I might try a little bit to uh, kind of show off a bit more because I know there's a lot of new players that I'll be on there always asking like what's the meta and all that or how do you do this and that, bro like I don't do anything like I'm actually like one of the not the worst players but I don't do anything to stop for myself from getting ganked by people like I I'll I'll like uh, normally you're supposed to keep your mount next to you at all times in the mist if you want to stay alive you keep your mount close by so that when someone shows up you can instantly mount up and just leave. But I don't do that. I like to just walk around without my horse, you know, just free balling it, going ham, going wild, and and then I get kills like this against a fucking uh, like what was that, a five-two warbow with like some like a bunch of cooldown reduction. And I was like, I, I didn't really inspect him that much at the start. I just saw he was at five-two warbow, and I was like, okay, I can take this fight. I'm in four-one great frost, and I kill a five-two. It's like. We're just not See built the there. same, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Like, uh, those new players, I don't want to say get good, but th there's just there's so much random shit, and there's so many factors that go into every fight that I can't tell you what is good or, like, what you would like to play. You know, it's all just personal preference and, like, that the situational uh, fights and all that. It's just you got to know what you can take, what you can't. The only way to know that is if you die a lot. So that's my advice to you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.